In many studies and research about the impact of air pollution on our health, we would frequently come across the term oxidative stress. In fact, oxidative stress is often proposed as the major mechanism through which air pollutants harm our body. But before we understand what oxidative stress is, let's first talk about what an oxidation reaction is. Now in daily life, oxidation reactions might manifest themselves through the ripening of fruits or the rusting of metal. It's also a normal healthy process that our body goes through to stimulate our immune system and growth of new cells. But what really happens at the molecular level? Oxidation is the process through which an atom A loses an electron to another atom B that is or acts very similarly to an oxygen atom. When atom B accepts an electron from atom A, atom B is set to oxidize atom A and therefore is called an oxidant or oxidizing agent. Normally, when the body detects pathogens such as bacteria or viruses, oxygen atoms in the body oxidize other atoms to gain an electron and become reactive oxygen species, known as ROS, which act as cell signaling molecules that help fight the pathogens. ROS, a product of an oxidation reaction, are in fact also a form of oxidants themselves. They are oxygen-containing free radicals, which are molecules that contain an unpaired electron and are therefore highly unstable. Now, all atoms strive to become stable, and ROS are no exception. So to stabilize themselves, ROS react with and steal electrons from other molecules, which then become free radicals that yet again steal electrons from other molecules. So as you can imagine, if this process was not controlled, they could fire a chain of harmful oxidation reactions. Under healthy and normal conditions, antioxidants control ROS levels by eliminating them when necessary. Since antioxidants are molecules that are able to donate an electron without destabilizing themselves, they can lose an electron to ROS, which then becomes stable molecules. So that's how antioxidants prevent ROS from stealing from other molecules. However, when we have too much ROS in our body and not enough antioxidants to get rid of them, oxidative stress happens. Oxidative stress is defined as an imbalance caused by an excessive amount of reactive oxygen species over antioxidants in the cells of the body. When there is an excessive amount of ROS, the harmful chain of electron stealing oxidation reactions would damage molecules such as DNA, proteins, carbohydrates and lipids in the nucleus and membranes of cells, leading to damages in the cells and contributing to all kinds of diseases, including cardiovascular diseases and cancer. Oxidative stress is also tightly interrelated with inflammation. Oxidation processes start up intracellular signaling that triggers an inflammatory response. And in order to eliminate pathogens in the inflammatory area, inflammatory cells produce more ROS that act as signaling molecules and inflammatory mediators leading to oxidative stress. As you can see, oxidative stress and inflammation form a vicious cycle leading to a risk of chronic inflammation. It is therefore crucial for a healthy body to maintain just the right amount of ROS, not too much and not too little. However, that often is not the case for those surrounded by air pollution. Air pollutants, such as particulate matter and gases, contain high concentrations of oxidants and prooxidants. A prooxidant is defined as any chemical that induces oxidative stress, either by generating ROS or by inhibiting antioxidant systems. For example, a prooxidant can donate an electron to an oxygen atom, generating an ROS molecule. Therefore, when ingested, the oxidants and prooxidants in air pollution induce an excessive amount of ROS in the cells, promoting oxidative stress and subsequent inflammatory and cancerous responses all over the body, in the brain, lungs, heart, liver, and more. The manifestations of oxidative stress can range from mild to deadly. So if you have been maintaining healthy eating and exercising habits, but still experience fatigue, memory slips, muscle pain, decreased eyesight, and headaches, 
for sometimes seemingly no reason, they might as well be caused by your surrounding oxidant-containing air pollutants. These mild symptoms to which we turn a blind eye on a daily basis are in fact driven by the malicious force of oxidative stress that can potentially lead to cancer and cardiovascular diseases. So with air pollution being one of the greatest risk factors for oxidative stress, it is vital for us to get rid of emissions and create environments of clean air for ourselves and others.